Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create VLANs, VLAN names, assign them IP addresses, and then configure access ports. So, let's get started. Alright, and so now that we're back inside Packet Tracer, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video with our basic switch configurations, and we're going to add two user vices. So we're going to add two laptops. So laptop one there, and laptop two there. And then we're going to connect them with a Cat5 cable uh, equivalent, which is the copper straight through. So fast Ethernet 0 to fast Ethernet 2, and then from fast Ethernet 3 to fast Ethernet 0. So now we can go ahead and hop right into our switch. We'll see here that our interfaces uh, change their states from down to up. That just means that something that's powered on is connected on both sides. So let's go ahead and sign in as jack.tastic and one, two, three, four. So now let's get into configure terminal mode or conf t, right? So if you don't know what a VLAN is, it is a virtual local area network. It's pretty much a way to segment network traffic on a switch or a router. Uh, and we're going to create our user VLAN, um, which we're going to do VLAN and then the VLAN ID number. So we're just gonna do VLAN two. VLAN one is the default VLAN, so you would never use that one. So we're gonna do VLAN two. And now we can go ahead and set the name. So we're just gonna do name. And I like to use stars because it helps um, the name stand out in the configurations. And we're gonna do star, 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 user, star, star, star. And then just go ahead and hit enter. So the next thing we can do is we can exit out of this and we're gonna go ahead and interface with that VLAN now. So we're imagining that it is in fact an interface which is connected at one point to a, uh, a device. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna interface or for short, INT, uh, VLAN 2. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to assign it an IP address. And this IP address is going to be the um, default gateway. And it's also going to contain the subnet mask of any device that's going to be connected to this network segment. So for simplicity's sake, we're just going to do 192.1, or sorry, we're going to do IP add. 192, which is IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0. So if you don't know anything about subnetting, don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to be releasing another video, which is just going to be like a basic class on subnetting and how to create a subnet uh, for your network. So let's go ahead and just do this, and if we hit enter, it'll be all good. So now we've gone ahead and assigned the IP address and the um, subnet mask to this interface VLAN, and we can go ahead and exit out. Now, if we want to interface with those ports that our laptops are connected to, we can create access ports which allow data to flow through them. So let's go ahead and let's interface with a range of ports, so we're gonna do interface range, or for short, INT RA, and then we're gonna interface with fast ethernet, which is just FA for short. We're gonna do zero slash two, TAC 23. And now we just selected ports two through 23, so we selected 22 ports. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do switch port, or for short, SW, mode access, and so now this allows them to send data between each other. And then we just need to tell it which VLAN we're allowing it to send data on. So we're going to do switch port access VLAN 2. Oh, sorry, typo. Switch port access VLAN 2. So now you can see uh, the state of VLAN 2 changed to up. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a description to this port. And we're just going to do user. So now if I go ahead and I exit out of here and do a do show run, you can see all our configs from the other day, but you can also see our ports are all configured as uh, accessing the user VLAN. And we can also see our information for VLAN 2 right here. So we can see its IP address and the MAC address of it. So let's go ahead and now 
configure our laptops with some IP addresses. Because we don't have DHCP on this network yet, uh, these laptops won't be able to pull a DHCP address. So let's go ahead and come into IP configuration, and we're just going to make this laptop 192.168.1.2 with that as our subnet mask, and then our default gateway is going to be the IP address we assign to the interface VLAN, so 192.168.1.1. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And now let's go over to the other laptop and configure that one. So this one's going to be 192.168.1.3, subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, and the default gateway of .1 as well. So now if we come out here on the desktop, this is just like opening command prompt, we can do ping 192.168.1.1, and we should be able to reach our default gateway. Just like that, you can see that uh, after the first one timed out, we can reach our default gateway. And so now we should be able to ping that other machine, which is dot two, just like that. And the great thing about Packet Tracer, it actually allows you to simulate this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and only show the, um, the um, ICMP packets, which are uh, the ping messages. If I start simulating, and then reopen this and send a ping. We're gonna be able to see this move to our, from our laptop to our switch, and then we'll be able to see it move from our switch to the laptop and then back across. And in a moment here, we'll see it show up just like that. So that's the great part of Packet Tracer. It allows you to really visualize everything on the network. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like to go ahead, drop a like down below. If you don't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really enjoyed it, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.